Only on Way 31, the family of a father and son murdered in 1997 continue their push for justice. Thomas Dale Ferguson has been on death row for nearly 24 years for that crime. He now wants a federal appellate court to take another look at his complicated case. Ferguson is one of five men convicted of killing father and son Harold and Joey Pugh and dumping their bodies in Colbert County's Cane Creek the day before using a stolen truck in a bank robbery. Way 31's Matt Kroschel was the only North Alabama reporter inside that Atlanta courtroom for today's hearing alongside the family of the murder victims. Family members and friends of those two murdered back in 1997 in Colbert County, making their way here to the federal courthouse in Atlanta to listen to the oral arguments as this case moves its way through the federal courts. And now, more than two decades later, those victims' families are still looking for closure. That includes Matt McWilliams, who was only three years old when his brother was killed. He um, took my brother's life and his father's life, so you take a life, you should have your life, you know, removed as well. That's my opinion. I know that might not be popular to some people, but um, he needs to stay put. Um, to be on the death penalty. Ferguson's new defense team arguing there's new evidence that he has a mental defect and had ineffective counsel. A Mobile County jury recommended 11 to 1 for a life in prison sentence. The judge, though, handing down the death sentence. He's been fighting in court ever since, saying his constitutional rights were violated. Matt's mother died in 2010. He says he's continuing her efforts to get justice in this horrific case. She never got to see the end of this, and, you know, I hope I'm making her proud. Ferguson, not the only defendant involved in this murder, but he is the only one who's up for a trial right now, so they're focusing their attention on this case. Reporting in Atlanta, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.